Okay, so what we want to do is create a um, uh, something that handles the inputs of these of these and creates points from uh, from this input. So uh, first thing we want to do is probably move this thing here to a um, a method. So we want to create. Um, uh, we will leave the declaration as a global variable, but the assignment will be handled by a sub. So sub create points is then here. So we will leave points as double here and move this. So we will have points equal to new double. Like so, and then call create points as soon as this has been done here. Now we can also clean up this a little bit so we can take all of this and create a sub, uh, create swept feature or create pipe feature. Uh, like so and throw this in there and collapse it we can also call it like so all right so now we have to read in uh, rewrite these points here these values need to be rewritten so we can do, uh, there should be double. So double try parse. Now the string is then read from, uh, let's start with the height. So that's edit box height dot text. Okay. And that, so that's the, the string containing the number to convert. And what should it, be written into that should be h and the input validation if it fails then let it fail uh, we're not going to do uh, not going to do any input validation here of course we might do that uh, have a, a message box up here and say hey this is completely wrong you can't do this i'm going to leave that as another exercise because none of the stuff here has any input validation Okay, so that's done. Now we have more things here. We have edit box length that should rewrite L and edit box. Right, so this should work. So we should really have this in another function because we're doing a reading input here. We're not creating points. You should always structure your stuff logically. So sub um, read values, read, uh, yeah, read values. And then do all of these store them here and clean this up a little bit and there we go let's put in a, a breakpoint there take this and we will read the values before we create the points that's important so and let's start it so here we have these values here which are pretty much the same as these values here so we will change them slightly uh, well, the band radius, that stuff is different. So let's do 40 here and uh, change the length to 300, the width to 100, and the height to 50 and press generate. And let's see what we have here. Now age is 0 0.1, 
and if we run this age is 50 and L is 300 and width is 100 and bend radius is 0 40.0 okay so it's we can see here that it is converting it uh, differently all of the others were uh, without a decimal place so it doesn't see a dot as a comma or a decimal place so none of these work yeah so that, that's why we should have uh, input validation uh, yeah but so for now we're gonna just go back to the form design and uh, change this to remove the dot signs here to be just numbers straight up and then we have to divide these by 1000 because they are in meters right now like so save go back here and read values and then change these values as well so age is equal to age divided by 1000 and L is equal to L divided by 1000 W is equal to W divided by 1000 and so on all right so there we go save and start press generate and let's see what we have H L W okay all of them work and we can press F5 to continue and we can look at our solution here and we can see that it created it successfully so that's it that's the uh, conclusion of the tutorial now in your case your uh, input points are going to differ slightly um, but the strength of this now is that you can insert anything in here and have any angles anything and it will work um, so uh, the next step probably could be to have uh, read this from an excel sheet that uh, tells us how how this should look like and then parse that excel sheet uh, in some way or a xml file or whatever have the user provide this in uh, in some way okay so i hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you